operating voltage of 120 volts, 60 hertz. Wide voltage range is 110 to 130 volts. Max current 15 amps. Wattage display will go from 0 to 1800. You will get a warning at 1650 watt. Good day and welcome back to another episode on Game Tech Electronics Hobby House. Today we have a review on the Kumin Power Plug meter, meter, meter. Look at that. Mmm, so shiny. We're gonna set it up and we're gonna have a look at it, see if it is all that it is cracked up to be for the cheap price that it is of $18.99 Canadian. I'm quite uh, excited to get uh, going on it. So let's head over to the plug, the plug over there. In the corner here, let me get my coffee out of the way here. Mm. That's good stuff. So we have the box here, and in the box comes your meter and a simple little instruction manual on one piece of paper. And there's a shot of the, the mail end. Right there, yeah, looks good. So let's go ahead and plug that guy in. The main screen, what does it say here? Does it say what to do? Okay, it really has no instructions on. Uh, let's go to cost. No. So it is actually reading that there's 122.9 volts coming in. That's pretty sweet. From my angle, the viewing is a little bit off, um, but that's just due to the display. Okay, okay, so we do have a low and high. Let's see if I can uh, pull that out a little bit. Let's plug that guy in. And we'll see if we can... Uh, oh, that's kind of in the way, isn't it? So, for fun's sake, what we'll do is we're just going to get the hold down the cost button and then we hit the function button and then we go over to what we want for the kilowatt hour price to be uh, and I think that should be 10. You lock that price in, you just hold down or press the cost button again and then back to the main screen. I think that made sense. I'll have to double check to see what the actual cost of uh, the electricity is and adjust that accordingly. But for testing, let's have a look. Let's turn on my light. So let's see here, it's warming up. So what do we got? 16.3, 16.2 watts. Now it's actually got the time on there as well. So we'll let that do its thing here for a little bit and we'll see if we can actually get a cost out of it. If it actually, uh, just having my bench uh, light on actually cost me any money. So what I'll do is I'll let that run for a little bit and I'll come back and I'll see what it says. If I've actually been charged anything for running that uh, or if it actually makes that much of an impact then we'll go through all the different functions and you can still see that we are on 122.9 and 60 hertz and then 0.2 amps 8.3 watts uh, is the low the high is 16.4 price and back to the watch and then we've got our time up top here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to check to see if it rolls over at 60. And it does. Okay, so it goes to 60 and then back over to the next minute. So I'm going to let that roll. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what comes up in a little bit here. So I will be back and see if my bench light is costing me anything really to run throughout the day. 
So we're at 9 hours and 17 minutes on the clock here. Uh, we're using 13.4 watts and it has cost me 1 cent for that 9 hours. I did have uh, the wattage go up to about 15, but that's what, or 14 and 15, but that's when it was actually cooler in the room. So it seems the warmer the room temperature is, the lower the wattage is being used. So good to know. So one thing I forgot to mention is it does have that battery, and it does work once it's charged up, and you can scroll through your functions here so you can go to your cost uh, and adjust that you can reset it and you can have a look at what your actual highs so my low was 2.4 watt and my high was 16.4 so it does have that going for it as well it's kind of good to know because if you want to compare it with something else maybe in another location you can kind of see uh, what's going on there. Or if you need to make notes of it in your log or Excel spreadsheet, whatever you want to do. So anyways, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?